Pidgin is a language that's spoken broadly across Nigeria, so it's a language of the people. And I really wanted to celebrate it in the most lavish art form that I could think of. It felt very cinematic, like a movie soundtrack. It was really incredible. I loved it. This is a mixture of styles. It's brilliant. I love the dancers as well, like the, the way they're like merged together. Her voice is magnificent and I think everyone's walked away touched and moved and it's energised. It's, ve it's very energetic but it's also very beautiful. Being the composer of this opera and being the creator of this opera and being the one that pushes out into the world, people are looking at me. I am a Nigerian woman. I am also a composer. I'm a mother, I'm a wife, I'm a musician, I'm a working musician. I'm a lady, warrior, light. I'm a queen, I'm a warrior. I'm someone that is really sharing our stories in a really positive way. Representation matters. If someone sees Helen or hears Helen, it's this notion of what is an opera singer? She's challenging that. Um, and she's doing it in such a beautiful way, which is powerful. It's weaving reggae with spoken word, with hip hop, with pigeon, with cockney. So the languages of the people. I think opera is the kind of art form that can change a society. You're going to attract people from a diverse range of interests with a piece of work. And it's absolutely exquisite. The dream now and the journey is to have a longer run either at one of the opera houses or you know the theatres in London. So we're looking for collaborators and people to work together with venues and things like that. I'd, I'd love to see something like this down Drury Lane, even on TV, open people's eyes. You know, let, let people experience something totally different. <laughs>